Indians ask to celebrate Cow Hug Day instead of Valentine's Day. No Valentine's Day. Wow. We're doing Cow Hug Day 2023. Let's get into it. Okay. India's Animal Welfare Board has issued an appeal calling to not celebrate Valentine's Day and instead use February 14th to celebrate Cow Hug Day. The board claimed that <laughs> hugging cows will, quote, bring emotional richness and increase individual and collective happiness. In Hinduism, the country's largest religion, cows are considered sacred since they represent Mother Earth. The appeal criticized Western culture and argued that, quote, the dazzle of Western civilization has made our physical culture and heritage almost forgotten. The board's assistant secretary, Prachi Jain, stated that the appeal applies to all states and all territories in India. However, after widespread criticism from the political opposition and mockery on social media, the Indian government withdrew its appeal to celebrate February 14th as Cow Hug Day. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. By the way, this idea that um, hugging a cow is good for you and it's like, I think they're selling it as if it's specific to cows, but I think um, Harris was mentioning this yesterday as well. Generally, just hugging any animal, most animals, not any animal, don't go hug a bear or something. But like you could do that with a dog and you get the same kind of endorphins and feeling. I mean, should you be hugging cows? Are they are they do are cows okay with being hugged? Well, Armin, this is a very good question. And in fact, if you go into the show notes, I have a video that we can show that demonstrates the problem of this. Because the first thing that I thought as someone who has, you know, some familiarity with animals, okay, I've been on a farm, you know, if you nope, wrong one, the first news. This is the wrong oh. one wrong okay um oh, yeah. is that if you have been around like a horse the first thing you learn when you're introduced to this horse is stay <laughs> the f away from this horse because that thing can kick you or like a mule a donkey and seriously injure you if you get kicked you're gonna be hurt you're gonna break your ribs and so <laughs> I found this video on Instagram. I don't know if this is a recent video or if this is an old video. So I don't know if the caption is accurate. But the caption is when when BJP leader went to celebrate Cow Hug Day. So Armin, please, please play this video. And, you know, let's let's see how how do you how do you approach a cow to hug it anyway? Let's see how it went. Okay, okay. What is it? Okay. I said no. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they're like, oh, hell no, we're not doing this. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> like, is, never mind. That is such Play it again. Let's see that first kick. Let's see that first kick yeah. one more time. I think she maybe got him. Yeah. She's like, don't. She's like, not happy, dude. Like, did you not get the message? No means no. Yeah, no oh, consent. No consent. <laughs> dude, the caption made me laugh so hard. It says. <laughs> Cow hug day should be strictly celebrated under the supervision of Gal Rockshacks. Don't try it at home. So Gal Rockshack is like a, a cow protector, you know? So these are the same kind of like, um, oh, I'm getting an echo. Um, guys, the cow, basically they're saying it should only be celebrated in the supervision of cow vigilantes. <laughs> um, and yeah, Katie is saying, pretty sure someone in the government tried this and got gored by a bull or something, so they had to repeal it. I don't know if that's the video of what we just saw, but yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, 
Kasim's question in common is so funny. I don't re recommend that Indian bulls like Bhagirati. Really <laughs> 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 Bhagirati. <laughs> Yeah, this oh is this God. is actually not good for the cat. Why were people complaining? It, because this is not just us making fun of this, okay? People were yeah. India were criticizing this. What was their concern about the hug, hug the cow thing? Well, okay, if you scroll, they just think it's ridiculous, right? And especially mm -hmm. the claims that they're making. So let me give you some more claims that the government made or government body made about this. It is well, we all know that the cow is the backbone of Indian culture and rural economy, sustains our right. life, represents cattle wealth and biodiversity. The appeal read, it is known as Kam Dihenu and Gaumata because it of its nourishing nature that is like a mother and giver of all providing riches to humanity. And then this is what really gets me. Quote, Vedic traditions are almost on the verge of extinction due to the progress of Western culture over time. And the dazzle of Western civilization has made our physical culture and heritage almost forgotten. Therefore, all cow lovers should, may also celebrate February 14th as Cow Hug Day, keeping in mind the importance of the mother of the cow and making life happy and full of positive energy. So I... This is a government document. This is a government document? Yes. Incredible. Yes. India, what are you doing? India! What are you doing? What the hell? This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. I'd be well, I mean, India already has like an extensive system of like cow hospitals, right? That's like basically better than what's available to humans in many states. So this isn't surprising to me at all. Um, but the claim that Vedic traditions are almost on the verge of extinction and that Western civilization has made people almost forget their heritage is such, I mean, granted, I'm a Western woman, you know, I'm mindful of my own bias, but the idea that the culture of the subcontinent is going extinct is so incredulous to me because I see India as a globally dominant cultural powerhouse. Like the culture that comes out of India is so popular all over the world. Like the idea that it's going extinct is just like you sound extremely insecure to me because I see your culture celebrated everywhere. Maybe it's just my community. I don't know. Um, but I that... have a different take. Go for it. I think this. I think this is such a self own because you wanted to show that we have better culture than Valentine's Day. But this mm. is such a self-own because people are like this is why I mean you were competing and now you lost. Now, I mean people were not comparing. <laughs> <laughs> people were not comparing, but now they are. People but now people they're going like, to. Well, <laughs> now they're going to. They're like, okay, well, this is why we do Western culture, I guess, because mm -hmm. we don't want to get kicked by a cow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd rather go on a date and buy roses for my girlfriend than get kicked in the balls by the cat by a cow. <laughs> yeah. Break a wrist. <laughs> And now I have so these maybe, medical bills. Maybe Western culture is superior. I don't know. Maybe like no, but maybe more if you huh. scroll down in this article because we have some hilarious memes in here made about Cow Hug Day. Okay. Farther down. Here we go. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so in, oh, this is so good. I love so this. So good. One. So in this <laughs> cartoon if you can't see it, it is a cow standing up on its legs and saying hug me and then you see a muslim man running away from the cow and say no bye. wait 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 say it again you got disconnected so it's so a susanna, muslim man wait wait saying, guys susanna is in a hotel so her connection is bad you say it again explain it again go back go back so the cow is standing what? up and saying hug me and a muslim man is running away and say no the box will name this love jihad so if you don't understand this what this means is that if <laughs> he the muslim man is scared that hindu extremists will see him hugging a cow and basically claim that he's trying to seduce that cow to become a Muslim. <laughs> That's <really good. laughs> so like, I can't hug you because they, <laughs> they'll accuse me of love jihad. 
That is fantastic. I love it. I love that it. made me laugh super hard. And then, wait, play this one, but make sure to not play the audio because it's really funny. There's, there's, okay. um, music. Uh, copyrighted music. Yeah, exactly. Copyrighted music. Okay. Wait, there's music for me. I'm not okay, here. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> you wanted this. You should describe so there's, what, there's what it is. There's a woman doing the classic Instagram pose of you just see the man holding the <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wait, one more time. One so, more time. It, it's a woman holding, you know, the hand of a man that is off screen and she's, you know, looking very pretty, just running. And then it cuts to a man <laughs> trying to hang on to a cow and getting dragged behind the cow through a field. <laughs> Guys, like, you see, this is so this is so bad because you were trying to, I mean, nobody nobody was thinking like, oh, Indian culture is inferior. I mean, people, some people are, but not that many people are thinking like, oh yeah, Valentine's Day, the superiority of Western culture. Right? People weren't thinking that. People were but like, the, no, that's like, what the right winger Hindu nationalists think because in yeah. India, people don't know they have had this problem with Valentine's Day for years. Like, this isn't a new thing. Like, Bajrang Dal, like, will go street vigilante and assault couples who are just holding hands in the park, drag them out of restaurants, and force them to get married for being seen on public on Valentine's Day. I know friends who are like, we cannot go out in public on Valentine's Day, let alone with a male friend. If you're out in public on Valentine's Day with a male friend, you could get carted off and forcibly married to that dude. You're not even a couple. You're just standing next to a man on Valentine's Day. And these people are so freaking psycho about it that they will yeah. assault you or force you to get married. How, yep. How is this allowed to keep continuing every year? I don't understand. I don't know. But the, yeah, but the point, I, that's very interesting. But the point I'm trying to make is that you have created what you feared okay because the whole the whole the good thing about culture is that you could enjoy all of them right mm -hmm. you don't have to check your dna or your background to be like can i enjoy this culture you yes you can have to. yeah you shouldn't have to right so you could you could you could wherever you're from you could enjoy japanese culture you could enjoy indian culture you could enjoy middle eastern culture you could enjoy american culture Okay, whatever you choose, it's like whatever you like. If you're in India, you could enjoy Indian culture and American culture. You could do both. People who are enjoying both in India, okay, they're not often comparing like, oh, I think the Western culture that I'm enjoying is superior to the Indian culture that I'm enjoying. No, they go to the Diwali and they also go on Valentine's and they enjoy both of them. Okay, so it wasn't a competition. You thought it was a competition, and now you've turned it into a competition, and you've lost. Now, because of you, people are thinking, hmm, I think American culture is superior to hugging cows. Maybe it is. Maybe. So, So you, yeah, great. Congratulations. You, you played yourself. So it's your fault. By the way, to be fair to Indian culture, it did not involve hugging cows, right? So... You're you're destroying Indian culture. You're making Indian culture and you're degrading it. So it's you know. So this was not a thing. This is a new thing that you're making it worse. Are um, you happy? Are you happy yeah. now? <laughs> oh wait, this is a good comment from um, uh, Katie. Post Valentine's yeah. week, two of my atheist friends, one from a Brahmin family and another from a Muslim family, are getting married. Wonder what the box will have to say about Valentine's Jihad. Oh, Valentine's <laughs> That's funny. Jihad. For those who don't know, Bhakti is like a term. It means devotee. Bhakti means like devotee. And it's also slang for someone who's like very super religious, aggressively religious, aggressively religious Hindu. It was a movement that started um, at the same time Islam was being introduced to the subcontinent. Yeah. Right which has made some experts suggest, and I don't know if this is true, but if it is, it's quite ironic, that the Bakhti movement was happened because of the influence of Islam, because of the level right. of devotion that Islam had to their deity, started Indians to adapt to that and also have some devotions to their 
did this level of devotions to their gods. So it would be, if this is true, and I'm not saying this because there's some random YouTuber conspiracy theorist is saying this, okay? Uh, this is based on what I've seen some experts say. If it is true, then it's quite ironic that the people who have a huge problem of anti-Muslim bigotry, the whole movement has was a copy of Islamic ideology. So, yeah, so see, like, exactly, Prometheus is saying, Bakhti movement is mixed with Sufi culture. So Sufi is like Islamic, yeah. basically. Yeah. Man, the Sufis so. make some good music. Say what you will <laughs> about the Islamic part of it. The Sufis make some freaking good music. I've been listening <laughs> to a lot of Kuali recently. <laughs> um, um, okay. Yeah, so moral of the story is, my friends, especially in India and also Pakistan, because I know Pakistan has some issues with Valentine's Day, too. Valentine's Day is coming up with the week this week. Please stay safe, you guys. Uh, everyone else, I hope you either, you know, have fun with your partner or eat some chocolate. <laughs> eat some very cheap chocolate. Oh, look, former Sufi Muslim, and I agree. Um, okay, That's so somebody up. from Pakistan, Zeke from Pakistan, again, is asking what's the meaning of Bakht? It's like devotee, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, that was the original meaning anyways. Yeah. Now, okay, so it's still that, it still has that meaning, but now because we covered the news, um we we often see it being used as um radical hindu or you know kind of interchangeably being used but i think it's unfair to because bhakti is not not it's not necessarily that right that's why that's why harris something has came up with a new term called them yeah calling these crazy um dogmatic you know radicals that he called them he calls them tunnies i don't know if that's a yeah. better term or not he knows more about these things. But again, so Bakht is usually just refers to a wider thing, which is a wider movement, which is just the being devoted to your Hindu gods. But now people sometimes use, use it as slang to refer to some, some radical, crazy people. Exactly. Um, yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.